What's the most attractive thing that I do without realizing it? Um, most attractive thing that you do without realizing, I would say, is you definitely own every room that you walk into. I don't think that you realize it, or maybe you do, you just hide it. But <laughs> usually, whenever you're in the spot, I think not only do people has turned because of how far you are. Yeah. I think um, I just think that people tend to gravitate towards your energy. There's one thing that you thought about me, um, that you assumed about me, that you realized was false. Uh, so before getting to really know you, I thought that we had like a player like type of aura. Um, Cause you're attractive and you know, you're know you head on your shoulders. So I just figured like, girls come and they throw themselves and you just catch them. But then getting to know you, you're very young. You're not even swayed. I feel like you're very respectful. You're a gentleman. That's one thing that I really you know, liked about you. You never, like the thought that I had about you being Claire, when I, got to, <laughs> when I actually got to like, know you on a friend level first. Um, it wasn't like that. You're very you spoke about them very highly. Um you have a very um gentleman like behavior about yourself. What is uh one thing you think you think you better? Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Um one thing I think I could do better, um, I feel like I need to believe in myself more. I feel like you see things in me that sometimes I don't see myself and you reassure me without me even asking for it. And I feel like I need to kind of take your words of advice and your motivation and really apply it, especially this year. Um, not coming out of the pandemic, but actually adjusting to the pandemic. Now it's time to like know how to shift gears and take on the challenges and do the things that I said I'm gonna do. Like, I really feel like people have to hustle out of me. A lot of people around me can see that. A lot of my closest friends, my family can see, like, in the past year, like, I started two businesses. Um, and I, I really feel like it was because of that driving force I had behind me. <laughs> a song that I would use to describe our relationship is Just Another Interview by Bryson Tiller. It's one of the, before we got together, I heard the song, and this is when we were friends. And this song made me feel a type of way about him. Like, I was like, wait, I think I like him for real now. So, when we actually started like dating for real, I played the song for him, and we played that song off like, I think the first month. And the first like opening lyric, um, Bryson said, That ain't my girl, that's my nigga. And I really feel like he's my guy, like, he's my friend, he's my dog, he's talking about everything. And so, yeah, I think that song was part of our relationship. 100%. Yeah. So I can't say that. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, for me, it's another Bryson song. Um, Set it off. Uh, in that song, so going back to before we were even really dating, uh, I had taken you to a smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, we didn't really consider it a date, it was just like outing. an outing in our heads. <laughs> We were in denial about what was really happening, and I, like after that day, I started to realize that like, I actually like, was really feeling this girl. <laughs> and in that song, there's a lyric that says, um, "You've been committed through this whole journey. Um, got a girl that don't expect as much from me." So like that's that one really resonated with me because there was no expectations, mm -hmm. there was no expectation between us, and it was organically. So, I would say yeah, that line specifically really, I think it, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, so. Bryson definitely. Yeah, right? Bryson is the soundtrack of our love story. <laughs>